Good evening everyone, it is currently about quarter past nine, it is Sunday the 24th of June. Tomorrow for me is my 17th birthday. To celebrate that, um, tonight we actually went out um, and had a little birthday celebration dinner at Weatherspoons. Good morning everyone, it is Monday the 25th of June, it is my birthday um, and I just kind of, I did try and show you everything in one clip but I don't think it, it stopped recording at some point and I don't know when it stopped so I'm having to refilm this but that's okay. I was going to uh, like do this vlog, I like have and just kind of like talk about what I did for my birthday and everything like that and then have a, a separate video of me showing you everything I got for my birthday but I thought I might as well combine it all and just do it all in one so I'm going to show you all the bits I kind of got from my 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 family that I live with but it is only about 9am in the morning and I got woken up at 6.30 this morning because my brother was banging on his wall, frustrated with his Xbox, and I was frustrated with him because he woke me up. But it was fine because I went downstairs at 7 o'clock and opened all of these presents that I'm about to show you. And I'm just going to show you this first um, because if you didn't know, I have a cat called Misty and... In the summertime, I like to have my window wide open at night, and sometimes, well, most times, it's so hard to define. Toxic thoughts, Nightcore? Anyone else listen to that? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, sometimes my cat jumps in, in through my window and sleeps with me at night. So the next thing is a jacket, and it's just like an off grey sort of colour. I am going to put this on and show you like over my pyjamas but it's like the softest m material. It's so soft and that's what it looks like on. It's one of those jackets where you're not like meant to do it up which I quite like but you could also like do it up if you really wanted to I guess. Ooh. Okay snacks or like food bits I guess got some mint imperials these aren't the type of things that I would snack on no I, I know that but they are definitely helpful because I like to I like my mouth to feel fresh I like everything to feel fresh really and I then have um, Cadbury's dairy milk like Oreo small chocolate bars and I think before we move on, I just kind of wanted to like quickly show you this. I have a Primark um, gift card for 25 quid from my uncle and his partner, or my uncles, um, that live in London. And in all honesty, my wardrobe's lacking a bit with my t-shirts. So I feel like this is going to be for t-shirts. <laughs> There's a bit of a backstory behind this DVD. Of course there is. Um, so, if you didn't know, I'm a massive fan of like action movies and natural disaster movies. And this is one of them. And I thought this was the same like cover. It had the same cover as Geo Disaster. Turns out it's just very similar. Um, it has like similar aspects with like a helicopter up there and that kind of thing, like burning buildings. Yes. This is Apocalypse Tomorrow, and I can't wait to watch this. And then, moving on, I have an academic diary. I have an academic diary for 2018 to 19. It's just like a marble, like a notebook. It's just a marble, like, cover and, like, back. Thing, obviously with a rose gold spine and then the foiling of this is also rose gold. I then have two books and the 
first one is Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. I have seen a trailer for the movie because it does say now major film. Um, and yeah, I was intrigued by that, but obviously I don't want to watch the movie until I've read the book. And I quite like that it's a glossy, a glossy cover. And this other book is And Now You See Me by Emma Horton. I read her other book, Best Left Buried, like a while ago, and I loved that book. I really enjoyed it. And because I enjoyed that book so much, I really wanted to read another one of her books. Um, and this is inspired by a true story. I'm looking forward to like reading this. Okay, so obviously, a lot of you will know, if you've watched my other videos before, um, that I am, yes, I am, yes, yes, I am a writer, and I've been writing the definition of love, which I will probably end up writing at some point today. I didn't write yesterday, God, I need to, like, catch up with that, um, but as I'm a writer... I I sometimes struggle with certain things and emotion is one of them which is why I'm so glad I have this. I did ask for this. Um I did put this on my on a, my birthday wish list. Wasn't really expecting to like get all of the um books by um Angela Ackerman and Becca Puglisi. Um but this was the one I really wanted. <laughs> Didn't even say what it was. Um, this is the Emotion Thesaurus, a writer's guide to character expression. I have a hand sanitizer. Not really that interesting, but I tend to use quite a lot of it. I then also have some deodorant. I don't really need deodorant because I do have like like two roll-ons this side, one behind me. Pardon me on that shelf that you can just about see then I have two over there but it's always good to stock up and this is just the short invisible 48 hour antiperspirant one I then just have my holy grail moisturiser I think that my mum now knows pretty much all of my skincare off by heart but this is the clean and clear dual action moisturiser oil free I then have three face masks, and I believe these are all from Superdrug. Um, these are from the brand, um, or oh, just Seventh Heaven. I'm not entirely sure what the brand is actually, but there are two peel off ones. Um, one which is Black Seaweed, which is a deep pore detox easy peel mask. Yeah, they're not that they're not actually that easy. Um, and then I have. The passion peel off one which is for removing unwanted oils and protecting i have actually used this one before and i love how soft it left my skin and then i have a charcoal mud one which detoxes away oils and impurities <sighs> moving on so these are actually what my sister got me there was a third one but she can't find it and I keep forgetting she's here and in bed. Need to keep it down. Um, but these are just the impulse impulse body sprays. Um, this one instant crush, and then this one is into glamour. I then have some like shower gels. Um this first one is actually Creighton's. Charcoal and Argan Extract Purifying Body Wash Deeply cleanses and helps detoxify skin So this is the type of thing that I'd use once a week That I'd use once a week And then I just have Some original source ones So this one is actually A shower gel And this is the Lemon and Tea Tree One And then this one is a moisturising shower milk. I think it's pretty much the same as a shower gel, just a bit more moisturising. And 
this is a cherry and almond milk. Okay, so I have a couple more things. I have a shampoo and a conditioner. And my mum told me that she actually bought these before I said that I was running out of my um, other like shampoo and conditioner. Um, because if you didn't know, I have dyed my hair not recently, but I dyed it black a while ago, and my hair got very, very dry. Um, so I had to start using like color, like color treatment, like shampoo and conditioner. These are the Dove Nutritive Solutions Color Care shampoo this is a shampoo and then the condition conditioner and it says for color treated hair <clears throat> and then i just have like a few other little bits i have um a lipstick from new look and i will show it it's in dark raspberry and it's a moisturizing no yeah yeah moisturizing lipstick um in dark raspberry in dark raspberry did i say that i'm not sure it's basically a very pretty pink just looks a bit like this and it's just a very pretty color i really like it but i then have two candles and they are like these small ones with um like a glass top on um this first one is a, called Berry Sorbet. These are from the Wickford and Co. Um, company. Not entirely sure what shop that is. Maybe it's across different shops. Let me know if you know. And then the very last thing. Another candle is Pink Lemonade. But yeah, that is everything from this morning but yeah that's everything i'm now going to like put everything away sort myself out it is about quarter to 11 i have not done anything with my appearance yet apart from brush my hair i've just been slowly slowly getting there i've been tidying up all of my presents from this morning putting everything away and I don't know how I'm going to put those candles but my other candles because I don't have enough space. Um, but I have decided on a place for that cushion. And I think it's just going to end up staying here because I've got like my blankets there as well. And I'm pretty sure if my cat was in here right now, she'd either be there or on the windowsill. But she's not. She's outside. This is where my cat is currently. Sorry it's so shaky, I have zoomed in quite a bit. But it is now, as I said, quarter to 11. Not done anything yet. I have tidied up. I'm actually quite hungry. Kind of want an Oreo bar. I'll have one a bit later. Um, I still need to get changed. I really need to get changed. I also really need to refill this. It happened. I didn't have a chocolate bar. And it did kind of fill me up. Sweet things don't usually fill me up, but that kind of did. Um, <laughs> so, I've just realised that all of my, like, bottles for the shower are all still downstairs. Oh, I don't know what I can do. I can take this box and chuck absolutely everything all of absolutely everything in here bring it up that way it is currently about quarter past 12 I'm looking a bit more decent now I've got a bit of makeup on um, don't really know why I'm wearing lipstick I'll be going out for lunch um, this will come off eventually and I'm now dressed and I also have my bag partly sorted out because I still need to put my phone in but I'm not gonna put that in yet I think what I'm going to do now is sit here 
and kind of go through my what I already have of the reference through the whole manuscript. Basically trying to do um basically trying to format it so I don't have to do that kind of thing later. Okay, so this is what my document for the definition of love currently looks like. There are so many pages. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> good evening. I'm not entirely sure how to start this. But the last clip you saw, I ended as soon as my man arrived. And... It was about 20 to 1 that we left here. It's now <laughs> about 10 to 6. It's about 5 hours difference. Um, I have been up at my nan's, had cake, had a chat, that kind of thing. Come back with presents that I'm going to show you. And I think the first thing we'll start off with is food bits and those kind of things. First thing, it's actually not like a food um, like product, but I guess it kind of ties in and it's just a mug. I say just a mug. Um, but this is a mug with a cat on with headphones on and a scarf, I think it is. The next thing, I've got some more mint imperials, didn't I? I quite like having mint imperials to hand because find they're the best kind of thing for like freshening up your breath so I'm really happy with that then I have um, hot chocolate okay so this isn't my favorite but I do like it this is the options Belgian chocolate mint I, I don't want to sound ungrateful I am grateful yes this is a massive jar of Nutella because actually I discovered that I liked Nutella when we went away to Tenerife last year last October and we had Nutella then me my sister Nan and Grandad so everyone knows I like this and it's 950 grams that I guess I'll show you these bits next so these shoes the it, my camera's going to focus on my face, so I'm just going to put these in front of my face. These are um, slip-on shoes from Primark, just size 6, um, in pink. I also have this, like, night dress, or nighty, whatever you want to call it. I am going to try and show you. Um, I'm not going to put it on, though, because it's a bit too hot. Um, so, here you go. Can you see that? So I'm very happy about this. I think I said this earlier. Um, um, I now have a copy of Better Left Buried Ooh, by Emma Horton and I've just ruined that with makeup. Um, so happy I have this. Because <sighs> I, I, I can finally read it um, again. I just... When I first read this book, I loved it. And then when I lost the copy or my ex-boyfriend lost my copy I couldn't read it I couldn't read it again and it's one of those really good books to reread uh, and the other book is one of those um, writing guide ones this is the purple one I don't know if you'll be able to see which one it is it's just the positive trait Thesaurus um, by Angela Angela Ackerman and ba um and Becca Publisi. I'm really messing up on words today. I think my brain has just gone to mush. I guess we'll go um, other things next. So, I have some small notebooks. I have this small, like, purple sparkly one. It's one of those ones where it's really annoying because it's not like, um, glossed over so you can feel the you can feel the glitter and it's type where it comes off so I'm not the biggest fan but you know I'm grateful uh, for all of this I'm not trying to brag about any of this I should have 
put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. In no way am I trying to brag. I just want to show that I'm actually grateful for everything that I do get. I then have one of these Robert Frederick ones. I love these. I love using these types of things for notes because um, these go really easily in handbags. But this is just one with polka dots on and then the notes with gold foiling. And then I just have this as well. It's just a per oh, squares. I'll go through the next ones as well. So I have kind of like a bigger version of that A5 one. Um, I guess I'll probably just end up using this to like dump ideas in and just really randomly. And then I just have this floppy A5 one. And this one is lined. This last one is actually a really aesthetically pleasing one and it's, I guess it's like a tropical kind of green colour um, and then it just has like a gold yellowy spine and then ideas is on it in gold foiling. Pens, which to be honest I have so many of. Oh, okay so this goes with, this pen goes with this notebook oh, okay it's interesting and this is a stylish pen writes in black ink um and it's just got polka dots on i don't know if you can see that note it's going to focus on my face please don't focus on my face i don't like how it looks at the moment i then have some different color pens from tesco along with these and these are the paper mate ink ink joy pens stylo Oh, it's French. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt to try that. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. It's got like French thing there. Many stuff, I think. I'll probably start with like room smellies, I guess. Um, uh, this first thing is just a candle from Tesco. This is the white linen and orchid, I think it is. Orchid? I think it might be orchid. It's quite fresh. Um, and I think it's more of a... Mm, more of a spring scent, really. I have a room spray, which I knew I was getting. Um, because I also picked this out. And this is the Spiced Amber and pink pepper room spray. It smells like the perfect summer and autumn room spray. I do have two others. I just need another one because <laughs> you know for all four seasons. One of the last bits are more shower and body smellies. Oh and I have two packets of these um, makeup wipes. Not entirely sure where these are going to go, probably in my bottom drawer, right in front of me. These are the Witch Naturally Clear with Witch Hazel Extract. Never used these before and I hope they are good for my skin. If not, then I won't be using them because I need to be careful with what actually goes on my face now. Because I'm 17. <laughs> Is that a bit too young to start taking better care of my skin? Most probably. Am I going to do it anyways? Yes. <clears throat> oh, I guess this is... Oh, yeah, this just comes in. I have a So Sinful uh, body spray. Again, I used to have this, but it was in um, a really shaped... A really weird shaped bottle. And I actually quite like the smell of it. Is it in the lid? This is really boring, but... um. A very big part of life in the summer when it comes to women, maybe even men, razors. Okay, I have a deodorant. Where well, the bloody hell is this going to go? <laughs> I'm running out of space. I think this is going to have to go in my pink, in my pink thing up there, along with the one I got earlier. Oh, they're both sure. Oh, but this one is... 
um, the Motion Sense Cotton Dry, Dry and Fresh Confidence. Um, okay, let's go. Boring things first. Not boring, just things I'm not very excited about to like show you. So, best or last, obviously. Some soap, which is also in French. Oh, I don't really see which one this was because I think I just left it in. This is the Gillette Satin Care with such a volet. Violet Swell. Um, face masks, naturally. One of them is French, but that's okay. I think this is for combination skin because it's got the word mix in. Um, and then I have three Cosmia ones. I have a purifying one, mattifying, and then hydrating. And then I just have these. This is the shampoo and conditioner I swear by at the moment because of my colour treated hair. Um, and I just have two more of those. I do not have the space for this. This is going in the bottom of my wardrobe. Very last things, shower gel. Um, so this first one is a Redox one. Um, and it's 12 hours scent touch. Is this a... Oh yeah, it's a body wash. And it's the one in Feel Fresh. Long lasting fragrance released with touch. Scent of Arctic Blueberry and Patchouli. And then this is another original source shower gel. This is just the coconut and shea butter one. Which... So I am actually going to end this vlog here because I kind of want to get started on the edit tonight. So this goes up on time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I had a really good birthday. We went out and it was sunny. Okay, one, that's the first time that's happened in a while, and two, the weather has been absolutely lovely, so I've been very thankful for that. But that is everything. Thank you to everyone who sent me birthday messages. I have had a good day, I've had an amazing day. Went out for lunch with my nan and granddad, mum and sister because she was ill. Um, and she actually slept pretty much all of this morning. Um, so obviously she felt better for this afternoon. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. If you do decide to stick around and subscribe for more. Bye.